Hey, welcome to another Innovation Production. Today it's going to be a very quick video to answer the question, can you use your Yamaha PSS850 as a MIDI controller? Well, the short answer is yes, you can, but it's going to have very limited functions compared to a dedicated MIDI controller. For example, you're missing the transport keys, which is the play, stop, etc. The mod wheel, uh, it doesn't have pads, so we can play a drum beat. But what you can do is you can play the keys and you can use the arpeggio function of this keyboard to input into your door. So here I'm using Ableton. And first thing you want to do is obviously plug in the USB cable to your computer and turn it on. And then go to the preferences of your particular door and see whether it shows up or not. Well, this one shows up here as digital keyboard, not a very inspirational name, but it does show up. So you know it's working. Now, if it doesn't show up, you can try a few things. First of all, go to the Yamaha website and download the USB MIDI driver for this keyboard and install that and then restart your computer. And to test that it's working, I have a few tracks here loaded with a few instruments, three instruments and a drum track. I've got the piano instrument armed and ready to go. It's picking up from all instruments, including this one, and it's picking up from all channels, okay? Okay, it's got channel five there. I think I've changed the MIDI channel. But if you go to the keyboard, you press shift and the MIDI channel here, you go back to one, okay? So when you play, you can see the MIDI channel one is where this keyboard's MIDI messages are going. Now, if you only use the arpeggio, so put the arpeggio on, you play that, you can see it's coming through channel two, okay? If you refer to the manual, there's a table here that shows you which channels, what is coming out of. If you want to record your keys, so just turn off arpeggio and press record. Play. It's coming through channel three. Okay. If you want to record your arpeggio, put on arpeggio, press record. Okay, so even though channel two was coming out, when you press playback, coming through channel 4, okay? Basically in summary, uh, according to the table, whatever channel this is currently on, so it's on currently channel 1, that channel is your basic keys. Channel 2 plus 1 will be your arpeggiator, channel 3 will be your recorded keys, and channel 4 will be your recorded arpeggiator. If you shift your MIDI channel to another channel, then it will be plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 based on what channel you're on. So other things that don't work and work on this keyboard are sustain. Yep, makes no difference. Or the motion effects. Doesn't work there. Transpose here works. Touch response works. So local control here, off or on, if it's off, it's only sending the MIDI messages. If it's on, it's sending both the MIDI messages as well as playing the sound, the internal sounds of this keyboard through the speakers. Now, by far the best reason for using this keyboard as a MIDI controller is its arpeggios. Now it's got 138 different arpeggios and it's not just your standard up, down, up and down, etc. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's go and arm a bass instrument track. Okay, press bass on this. Okay, that's a bass arpeggio. Now let's go to bass in the range of 48 onwards. So some pretty nice grooves there. You can also do that with drums. So you go and arm the drum track and click this on drums and the drums are 117 to 138. So 
So yeah, you can really have a lot of fun with this depending on the instrument plugins that you own. You have a whole bunch of ready-made uh, arpeggios and, and, and beats and bass lines just by using the arpeggio function in this keyboard. So there you go, you can use the Yamaha PSS A50 as a MIDI controller, albeit with very limited functionality. Hope this video has helped you and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in purchasing, there are links in the description below. Thanks for watching.